This is a 65-year-old female who presented with intermittent, uh, more like thunderclap headaches, uh, which lasted between 5 to 15 minutes and which resolved. Um, she also presented with hyperosmia, which uh, means sensi hypersensitivity to smells. Uh, so we, we ordered an MRI. This is an axial flare image and uh, it's pretty much normal. We have some punctate areas of hyperintensity here on axial flare in the periventricular white matter. Uh, and you can see these subcortical areas of hyperintensity scattered throughout the uh, white matter. Uh, the most likely uh, etiology for these findings is what we call small vessel ischemic changes. And interestingly, you can see this commonly with migraine sufferers, but you can also see it with vascular risk factors such as hypercholesterolemia, uh, blood pressure issues, and or uh, an increased family history of vascular risk factors. In this case, this patient did have history of high cholesterol, but we don't have an anatomical explanation for her thunderclap intermittent headaches uh, we uh, initially were concerned with mass or uh, aneurysm rupture, but of course the history didn't make sense either because of the complete resolution of these symptoms. Now, um, if we look at sagittal images, these are sagittal flares, you can appreciate the uh, periventricular, um, well, more the subcortical white matter changes here. You can see this area here. So this is typical of what we see with migraines. She does have some uh, inflammation within the sinus, within the left maxillary sinus. There is an area of uh, inflammation here. She does not report rhinorrhea or congestion. So this may, may be chronic. She does have a deviated septum. Um, regardless, that was an interesting and typical MRI of someone with history of microvascular changes, high cholesterol, and or migraine history. Thank you.